everybody this is Momo and this is going to be a video on the Martha Stewart scoreboard. No card today. I'm just going to do two envelopes and one box just so I can kind of show you um, like how it works and things like that. Um, I've had a few people ask me if I could do some envelopes and um, boxes using it so I wanted to make this video for you guys and I'm going to make two envelopes with you and um you know just i just picked some of the sizes and things like that so that you guys can get an idea for it so um the first thing that i'm going to do is make a box and i decided to make the six by six by three box so it says that i need to start with a 12 by 12 i'm just going to flip it this way so you put your 12 by 12 on here and for the actual box i need to score at two inches and then at 10 inches and then I need to flip it over and do the same thing so 2 inches and 10 inches okay then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your scissors and you're just gonna cut the slits up to the other score mark and you're just gonna do this on two sides so on the on the top and then on the bottom okay so we're gonna put this together afterwards then we're gonna do our um, our top and it tells you that you need to score at actually I was planning to do the six by six by three but um, I did the scores for the 8x8x2. Eight eight so new box, 8x8x2. Eight eight because <laughs> I already scored it at 2 and 10. So then our next score for the top for, the, for this box is 2 and 10 and 1 8. So 2, 2, 2 and then 10 and 1 8. And then the same thing on this side and make sure instead of on the zero you just move it over a little bit for um, where that little arrow is and then two and ten and one eighth and we're gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing that's funny I was gonna make one box and I had to end up changing it see those things only happen on camera you know that right okay so we're just going to put our Martha Stewart scoreboard to the side for a second and we're going to go ahead and put our little box together. So I'm going to get my big bone folder and I'm going to go ahead and fold everything up and just make sure that all of our, our folds are perfectly creased and then we're going to go ahead and get our ATG and we're going to run it just on our little corner squares and then we're gonna fold in perfect fold in fold in and there we go. And fold in. So there we go. And then we're going to do the exact same thing to the other side and fold over and fold over. Just got to figure out which one's the top and which one's the bottom now. Okay, there we go. And you have your eight by eight by two box. Super cute. And then you got your top and it's just a little bit bigger. So it actually makes it really easy to come on and off of the, of the actual box. So that's our box. Ooh, okay, there we go. So that's our box. Ta-da! And now we're gonna go ahead and do one of the envelopes. And the first envelope that I'm going to do is going to be this um, little envelope. It's the number one envelope. 
Now, one thing I did want to tell you, when you look at the um, cards on the inside in here, it's going to give you a measurement for the card. And it says that the card is supposed to be three and three quarters by nine when folded, but the actual envelope is four and a quarter by nine and a half. So it makes the envelope bigger, which is a really good thing. Or it makes it like the size it's supposed to be, which is just a little bit bigger than the card. So um, if you follow exactly what it tells you to do and you do the card this size and the envelope this size, then it's going to fit perfectly in there. So we're going to do the little one, which is the number one envelope that it has on here. And you're supposed to start with a five and a half by five and a half cardstock. Now, um, the A2 one, the reason I'm not doing that one is because when you do the A2, it fits exactly on this length. So I wanted to show you when it's smaller and then when it's bigger, because this is the bigger one that we're going to do, how it is that you have to line it up. So this is the smaller one and then the way that it says to um, line it up is you always have to line it up with the bottom corner. So you get your little piece of paper, or that's smaller than this corner. So this is always going to be pushed up against the end. So um, here we go. So we always line it up here in the corner and the number one we're supposed to score it at two so two two is your a line so this is my a line and then you flip it this way and it's going to be two on this side so those are your my a lines then you have your b lines and you're going to score it two and a half so we've got two and a half and then the, our other b line is two and a half and then what you do and this is with all of the envelopes you go ahead and you just cut the little triangles off of the corners okay now that we have our corners um just trying to put this to the side our corners already done we're going to go ahead and fold all four of our little flaps. This is a really cute um, little envelope. I was thinking when I made it the first time, I was like, oh my god, that's perfect for Valentine's. Okay, so here we go. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and run some adhesive on here on the bottom flaps. And then we're going to go ahead and close our envelope. So this is our little envelope, our little number one envelope. Now, our next one is, um, if you guys remember this card that I made, that's the number 10 envelope, which is the business size envelope. And what you do with this, you're supposed to start with a 10 by 10, I'm sorry, 10 and 3 quarters by 10 and 3 quarter piece of paper. And now this one is too big. So again, all you have to do is line it up and this can just dangle off to the side. So you line it up and then we're supposed to score at two and seven eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eighths. And then we have our B line, which is supposed to be scored at five and a half. So this is our five and a half. And then our five and a half here. And then again, we're just going to go ahead and trim our corners. Now with this one, we're going to go ahead and crease everything. Now with this one, when you put this down, you're going to see that this obviously goes over the, the mark. So what you have to do is you have to get your trimmer. And we're going to flip this down and we're just going to Put it here to make sure that our line it up here to the bottom edge to make sure that it's straight and we're just going to trim a little bit off it's up to you how much you want to trim off so i just took a little piece off and so that's going to create the bottom of our envelope so we're going to go ahead and get our atg gun so that's our envelope but now when you flip this side down we have the same problem so we're going to get our trimmer again, trim our little ends here. So we're going to, again, line it up with the bottom edge, and we're just going to trim. just want to make 
make sure I got it lined up right. And I'm going to trim about that much. Perfect. And then we're just going to fold it over. And we have our business size envelope. And I had made another one of these. So here's another one. So those are our business size envelopes. And then we have our little mini envelopes. And then you can make a bunch of other different sizes. And then we have our boxes, which um, it tells you how to make a bunch of different sizes as well. So I hope that you, this is somewhat helpful for um, the people who wanted to know a little bit about the Martha Stewart scoreboard. So that's it, guys. I hope, um, again, I hope this helped and stay tuned for the next one. Bye now.